Hi everyone, in this lecture we are going to create a MySQL database. We already know how we can create a MySQL database using the tools, using the workbench, but in this lecture we are going to go a different route as opposed to clicking on our instance of the connection and then like opening a query tab and creating a and writing the code we are going to take all of this process to the terminal so whenever just go ahead and open up the mysql workbench and from there we are going to right click on any you can you can create any other instance but i'm just going to uh, work on the root instance that i have here so i'm just going to right click and i'm going to go to yeah, where it says start command line client and I'm going to click on it you can see that it is going to ask for a password this is the password that you inserted when when you created uh, sorry when you installed this MySQL when we did the extra configuration so my password is this I'm just going to enter it and now you can see we are within MySQL we can get a help by backslash h we can clear by typing backslash C and we can get out of this. Um, we can close this terminal by writing backslash Q and hitting enter. So I'm just going to go back inside of it again. And there we go. So this is our um, our terminal for working with uh, MySQL. I'm just going to insert my password. This is the password again when you created it, whenever you installed uh, uh, the MySQL and did the extra configurations. So in here, after uh, tapping the password, we can see we are inside the MySQL. Now to be able to create a database, we know what the command is because that is SQL specification. MySQL is just an implementation of it. So we are just going to say create uh, database, database, and then I'm going to give it the name. I'm just going to call it like blogs and semicolon and let's hit enter and you can see that it says query okay so we have successfully created our very first database in here i could get out of here using backslash q now if i click on here and if i come here you can see that we have our blogs database in here which we didn't have before but there are still no tables we are going to create tables as well so i'm just going to move back inside the command line I'm going to type in my password and that's it for this lecture. See you in the next one.